Friends, after obtaining an export order, the next most important activity is to ensure full and final payment from the foreign buyer. There is a huge risk of payment in export transactions, so we have to understand what are the various method of payment we can use to get payment from foreign buyer. Secondly, the most important aspect of payment is risk. Buyer is not in India, buyer is outside India, so risk element increases. So we have to select the appropriate method of payment which can cover the risk of non-payment from the foreign buyer. Today, we will discuss quite in detail the various methods used in international payments like advance payment, letter of credit, banker collection, open sale account, etc. And we will also learn the risk element in each and every method of payment and we will also discuss how we can cover these risks for the benefit of the exporter. Now let us discuss the management of export payments quite in detail. Before we proceed further, let us try to understand why export payments are essential for exporter. Friends, when you will get your export payment, you are achieving two things. Number one, you are recovering the cost of the transaction. And secondly, you will be earning the profit. And the qualification of export payment is you must receive the full payment. It means if you have done shipment of $100,000, you must receive $100,000, not less. And secondly, on time. If you are expecting payment, say after 15 days, you must receive the payment within 15 days. And if some delays will be there, it will add cost to you. So, Every export transaction for payment must be monitored seriously. And there are various instruments used for receiving the international payment. For example, you can receive payment in check, draft, and similarly instrument like this. But as an exporter, you must ensure that you receive payment through SWIFT, S-W-I-F-T. It is a payment instrument which is very safe, cheap, and payment will come very quickly. For that, you have to intimate the buyer about the name of your bank, swift code number of the bank so that buyer can arrange with the help of its bank to send payment through swift to you and friends risk of non-payment in case of export transaction is very high because exporter and importer they are living in different countries different rule and regulations are there and it is very difficult to put personal pressure on the buyer to get payment. So risk element is very, very high. Let us try to understand what are the main risk involved in export payment. Number one risk is non-payment by the foreign buyer and it is called commercial risk and best way to cover this commercial risk is to get ECGC policy. I personally feel no exporter should ship the good 
without taking ECGC policy if you are not receiving advance payment or letter of credit and risk element will be very high and ECGC policy will cover the non-payment risk. Then there is a risk of transit. Goods are going, say, from India to USA. And there is a very high risk during transit of goods from Indian port to USA port. For that, we take marine insurance. Similarly, friends, we have risk which is called currency risk. This risk is due to change in dollar rupee rate in the future. And we, we have already discussed and we have a special lesson where we will discuss with you how to cover currency risk. So friends, risk element in export payment is very high and depending upon the risk element involved, we select method of payment. There are various methods of payments available to the exporter. They are called advance payment, letter of credit payment, bank collection payment, open sale account payment, bank payment obligation. This is a new method. In future, people will be using this method, bank payment obligation, more than any other method. And I will discuss and cover this bank payment obligation very briefly because this method at present is not available in India. Now, let us try to understand each and every method of payment in detail I mean what is their definition mean meaning what is the mechanism what will be the advantages and disadvantages to exporter and we will also discuss the risk element in that particular method of payment first method is advance payment the basic definition of advance payment is when exporter get payment before date of shipment and this is the best method for exporter there is no risk involved when exporter get advance payment from the foreign buyer but by giving advance payment to exporter importer is taking a very high risk and friends you can negotiate with the exporter for advance payment 10% 20% 50% 100% but approach should be to get maximum advance payment from buyer and especially when buyer is new order is small foreign market is new for you because in that case risk element will be very high in this case when you are using this advance payment method you will get the payment before shipment and friends you are getting funds to do your business with the zero cost i think advance payment is the best method of doing export business because you are doing business by receiving advance payment with somebody else money zero cost finance will be available to you to complete the export transaction but who is taking a risk in this case importer is taking a risk in this case and to get advance payment exporter has to develop a trust and how to develop a trust depends upon the transaction in every transaction you have to do something to create trust in the mind of the buyer so that he can give advance payment to you this trust 
will be relating to your capacity to produce the goods and whether you are a producer of quality products or not so friends reputation brand image these type of things create impression in the mind of the foreign buyer so that he can give advance payment to you normally in this case advance payment is used by exporter to manufacture the goods bank will send the goods to the exporter and exporter will give the documents to the bank and bank will send the documents directly to the importer because there is no risk at all for exporter but importer is taking high risk so you have seen in this mechanism of advance payment the exporter gets maximum benefit importer take very high risk and before importer will give advance payment to the exporter he will check the credential of the exporter next method is letter of credit if you are negotiating a deal first you should try to get advance payment maybe 10% maybe 20% maybe 50% but if buyer is not giving advance payment then the next best method for exporter is letter of credit and letter of credit is used by exporters all over the world this instrument is used by exporters when they are dealing with new buyers specially and the quantum of order is comparatively high and they feel that there is a risk of non payment so friends in letter of credit exporter request the importer when exporter is is finalizing the sale deed with the importer exporter demands that payment will be through letter of credit if this is the situation that it is the duty of the importer to arrange letter of credit and friends let me put in a very simple words so that you can understand the beauty of letter of credit when importer is opening letter of credit through its bank the importer bank gives a undertaking to exporter that issuing bank or importer bank will arrange a bank in exporter country secondly exporter after shipment have to give the documents to that bank and if these documents will be as per the term and condition of letter of credit exporter will get payment in its own country this is the beauty of letter of credit because letter of credit allows the exporter to get the payment in its own country against document letter of credit converts goods sales into document sales why exporter will get payment based upon document as per the requirement of letter of credit and let me friends share with you the mechanism in brief it is the duty of the importer to arrange letter of credit so importer will go to its bank which is called issuing bank normally issuing bank belongs to the country of the importer and the quality of letter of credit depends upon the standing of this issuing bank in letter of credit issuing bank should be very strong just like in credit card which you are having the bank which has issued the credit card must be very strong and the credit card transaction and 
एल सी ट्रांजेक्शन आर वेरी सिमिलर सो इशिंग बैंक इफ सेटिस्फाइड विद द स्टैंडिंग ऑफ द इम्पोर्टर एंड हैज एग्रीड टू इशू लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट इट विल सेंड द लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट टू ए बैंक इन इंडिया एंड फ्रेंड्स दिस बैंक विल बी कॉल्ड एडवाइजिंग बैंक एंड दिस बैंक विल एडवाइज द लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट ऑफ द इशुइंग बैंक टू द एक्सपोर्टर एक्सपोर्टर मस्ट रीड ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड ऑफ लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट एंड इफ दिस टू थिंग्स ही इज सेटिस्फाइड नंबर वन टर्म एंड कंडीशन मैंशन इन द लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट आर एज पर द सेल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सेकेंडली ही विल बी एबल टू प्रोड्यूस द डॉक्यूमेंट आफ्टर शिपमेंट टू सेटिस्फाई each and every term of the letter of credit then it is a good letter of credit and if exporter feel that some term and condition is there which he will not be able to satisfied with the relevant document exporter should approach the importer for amendment exporter will get payment only if he presents right document which are required by letter of credit so friends after getting this uh, letter of credit which exporter feel is good letter of credit mean he will be able to produce the right document after shipment exporter will send the goods to the importer and exporter will give the documents to the bank which is called a negotiating bank bank will examine the document and if they find this document as per the term and condition see the beauty bank in india will give payment to exporter goods are still on high seas but exporter will get payment in india this bank which is an indian bank will send the document to issuing bank why the ultimate liability of making payment under letter of credit is of issuing bank and issuing bank will again examine the document that they are as per the requirement of letter of credit if yes issuing bank will give the documents to the importer and take payment this is in brief the mechanism of letter of credit you have seen in this mechanism documents are very very important and friends exporter will get payment in india against document before importer take possession of the goods second method is bank collection this method is used when exporter has already done 2 3 4 transaction with the importer and exporter is satisfied with the payment capacity of the importer under this mechanism exporter will give the documents to its bank after shipment of the goods bank will send the documents to the importer's bank which is called collecting bank the exporter bank will not only send the documents it will also send the payment term whether the payment term is dp mean document should be delivered to the importer against payment or if exporter has given some credit period to the importer then instructions will be give the documents to importer against acceptance that he will make payment on due date and friends this is quite risky as compared to letter of credit here banks are only handling documents and if importer is making payment on due date in case of a dp or da documents then and only then exporter will get the payment otherwise importer bank will inform the exporter bank that importer has not 
honor the documents if he is not making payment in case of document against payment term or importer is not making payment on due date if term of payment is document against acceptance then documents will be treated as dishonor and arrangement has to be made to protect the goods store where uh, properly and to do insurance etc etc so banker collection is quite risky and i personally feel as an exporter if you are using bank collection method never ever do shipment without taking ecgc policy covering the commercial as well as political risk and secondly have credit limit set on the importer by ecgc and in case this transaction is a very large transaction from exporter point of view involving say 100000 dollar half a million dollar 1 million dollar in that case number 1 exporter must stress the importer that bill of exchange will be accepted by the importer bank or importer has to supply stand by letter of credit these are the two precautions which can be taken in case of a high value export transaction this this method has certain advantage and disadvantage to the exporter main disadvantage is importer may not make payment and in case he does not make payment then goods will attract very heavy charges at the port of the importer and it is better not to give this facility to new buyers in foreign countries and if banker collection method has to be used by exporter dp term document against payment will be comparatively safer than da because in this case he has control on the goods then friends open sale account sometime buyer is very big buyer or exporter has very good past experience and now he want to give credit period to the foreign buyer to sell mostly this happen in when exporter is supplying goods to the distributor in foreign country who is giving huge business to exporter and this open sale method mechanism is very similar to the milk which we are taking daily from the milk seller he keeps on supplying the milk and after one month we make the payment similarly in open sale account which is a very risky method for exporter exporter has to ship the goods importer will take the delivery of the goods and on due date say after 30 days or 35 days or 40 days 45 days what are it may be importer will make payment very very risky method of payment for exporter and excellent method of payment for importer because importer is now getting goods without making any payment he want to do business with exporter money and after realization of the sale with the local customer importer want to make payment to the exporter and this is just opposite to the advance payment method of payment which is very very good for exporter and normally open sale method should not be given to new buyers new markets and risky markets because this is a very very risky method of payment for exporter but in case business situation demand that you have to use this open sale method 
then certain precaution has to be taken and the most important precaution is take ECGC policy before shipment and get a credit limit set on the foreign buyer because in this case risk of non-payment is very very high and ECGC policy will at least cover non-payment risk which is called commercial risk as well as political risk of the country and you will be comparatively safer. But if you look at the various method of payment used in the world, this is the most popular method of payment used in Europe or whenever you will approach any good buyer, he will demand this term, the, he will demand that give me a credit period of uh, 60 days, supply me the goods, after 60 days I'll make payment to you. And this is the example of open sale method. Very popular. Every buyer in foreign country demand open sale method, but very, very risky for exporter. Very briefly, I want to share with you the bank payment obligation. This is the future method of payment. Presently not available in India. In future, Payments will be made based upon information, data. Instead of opening letter of credit, bank will use bank payment obligation system and friends, they will open baseline. Baseline is nothing. The data set required by the importer which he feels that if he will get those data sets it mean importer is getting goods of its requirement and importer want a credit period 30 days 60 days 90 days but he does not want to open lc in those situation or in future when you want to use bank payment obligation importer has to go to the importer bank and arrange baseline. Baseline mean data set relating to underlying trade transaction. So importer bank will feed this data to SWIFT. SWIFT will send a message to the exporter through its bank that baseline is required by such and such importer. And if exporter accept it through its bank, it will send the message to SWIFT system that this baseline is acceptable to exporter, which mean that after shipment, exporter will be able to provide the data set required by the importer relating to the underlying trade transaction. And if exporter send the data through SWIFT and data required by the importer match with the data given by the exporter after shipment, then friends, importer bank is legally bound to make payment to exporter bank on due date. This is the beauty of this bank payment obligation method, where first time legal obligation of importer bank to make payment to the exporter bank will be there provided data set required by the importer relating to the trade transaction is supplied by the exporter after doing a shipment. And the beauty of this program is importer will get the goods on credit basis. And friends, at the same time, exporter will get legal liability of importer's bank to make payment on due date. Let me sh again repeat, this method is not available presently, but in the near future, this method will be available in India. But already in the world, 50 countries have started using bank payment obligation because it is cheap, quick, easy, and legal obligation 
of importers bank to make the payment of the ex exporter bank is there and this payment to exporter bank is just like getting payment under confirmed letter of credit but at a very low cost to the exporter now the next very important uh, step is for exporter is the selection of method of payment for its export transaction and friends it depends upon risk element you know as an exporter you must understand risk is high risk is low and depending upon the risk and from this figure it is very clear to you that for exporter advance payment has a zero risk only one obligation is there that exporter has to do shipment it is controlled by the bank which has received advance payment that exporter is making shipment otherwise zero risk to exporter and if risk is bit high then best second best method for exporter is letter of credit and if exporter want to reduce the cost of doing business and already exporter has done 1 2 3 4 5 6 transactions and exporter is uh, satisfied with the payment capacity of the importer then exporter can shift to banker collection method banker collection method when exporter is using he must take the precaution of taking ecgc policy is very very important secondly it is better to deal on document against payment term than document against acceptance but again if business requirement is such that as an exporter to get order you have to give credit then there is no other alternative give him the document against acceptance facility but take ecgc policy and secondly get credit limit fixed by ecgc on the foreign buyer then slowly and slowly if buyer is very big buyer want a credit period plus he want open sale account it is a very risky to exporter it should be given after making thorough assessment or when exporter is dealing with the subsidiary agent distributor in foreign countries then and only then open sale account method of payment should be used friends depending upon the risk element you have seen you should select which method of payment will be appropriate whatever is good to exporter is bad for importer we have given you the background material to develop deep understanding of the subject and to understand its application please go through the background material given to you at the end of the each session we have discussed the various methods used to collect export payment and we have also learned that in export payment there is a very high risk of non payment from the foreign buyer best strategy will be either use one exclusive method of payment or depending upon the situation we can use combination of advance payment with letter of credit advance payment with banker collection the most important part is risk if risk of a non payment is very high then best method is demand advance payment from the foreign buyer or letter of credit if risk is moderate and pass dealing with the buyer is very satisfactory we can shift to 
banker collection and that too on document against payment basis. If risk is very low, then exporter can use banker collection with DA basis or in case buyer is of very high value, valuable customer, then open sale account. If these precautions are taken, we will be able to get the full and final payment in export transactions.